What's going on guys? Uh, today I'm just going to be knocking a few things out on the uh, ORV. If you missed the last video, I'm going to put the link in the description. First, I just want to say a huge thanks to everybody that has uh, subscribed and really supported the channel. Broke a thousand subscribers and uh, and that's just like so huge uh, in the YouTube world. So I really do appreciate everybody and uh, let's go ahead and start on this thing. So an idea that I had um, on these mats the other day you know, they're super slick rubber. It's basically just all been worn down um, over the years. So you can see how filthy this thing is. I'm gonna clean it up and throw some uh, tread tape on top of it. Just got this at Harbor Freight. Um, everything that I do use in the videos, I will be linking below. If you remember back to the first video where I showed the gas pedal and how that thing was just, you know, loosey goosey, ended up cutting it off. And now I'm just gonna throw this tape on there as well, um, both of the pedals. So at least I have like something a little bit more to grip to. But now on to the fun stuff. Now, just taking those rubber guards off just changes the look uh, completely. And this is more, it looks more rugged actually now. So that's more of the look that I'm going for. All right, so now that we're running wheels and tires uh, that are a whole lot better, it is time for spacers. These are going to be two inch spacers. I got these uh, used on Amazon, Rough Country. So I guess it's a reputable brand. So uh, yeah, going to throw a two inch. And I also got some other ones that I'll show you in just a second. But essentially, they just slide on. Missed it by that much. All right, well, I thought these were gonna go on today, uh, but apparently I bought the wrong size. This one, that's only a half inch, and it slides on very easy um, because that's the size I need so kind of a bummer uh, all right so don't buy these for your Ford van uh, but now I know what size to get so I guess that's good news uh, I'll probably just throw these on off camera so you're probably wondering why there is just so much mud on this uh, side in particular and that is because it has been raining uh, like non-stop the past few days and yeah, it gets a little muddy out here, so that is why. Also, did you notice this? I got a muffler for this thing, and it sounds, it's almost too quiet, but I'll let you listen to it. Uh, the before and after, though, is actually just so funny to me. It is so quiet. But yeah, it idles super quiet. Almost, It's almost even hard to tell if I'm still running or not. So I do still uh, plan on putting something, something else on it to make it like a little bit more grungier. Uh, but for right now, it was really just to get all the fumes because uh, you know it was chopped off right underneath the driver's seat so all the fumes uh, just kept hitting you and, and everybody else around you and it was it was actually really uh, really hard to drive all right so now we are going to be working on a little bit more rust repair Woohoo! so all of this may look bad but it's really not um and the best way to test that is you can listen to the difference obviously there's like nothing behind this so it's going to be a little bit more hollow anyways uh, but everybody's been telling me that you take a screwdriver and you just start hitting the side of it. And then if the screwdriver goes through, it's bad. If it stops like this, then you may be okay. Yeah, the problem with the 
So I think going with 17, I'll play it safe. And then if we actually mimic the bend from here, if we did that, then we're looking at what, seven and three fourths. So maybe do eight to give us enough. And the smallest portion is gonna be five and a half. Again, it's not pretty, uh, but you can kind of get more of an idea of what's going on. I'll have to run another bead, grind it down. This is what it looks like finished. So this is what it looks like finished. Um, I went ahead and already made this side up so I can show you how I make it look just like this. Uh, it's actually pretty simple. And then as far as like these big holes uh, right here and then this bottom uh, and then also back here, we're actually just gonna fill those uh, with like a fiberglass filler. So using this same uh, sand disc that we've been using, what we're gonna do is just kind of grind these down, flatten them out just a hair and then uh, we'll go back with that Bondo filler. All right, so now what we're gonna be using uh, is this Bondo jelly, all right? Now I just picked this up at Walmart, got a uh, piece of cardboard, so that's what we're gonna kind of throw this on. You just kind of have to guess about how much you might need. Uh, unless you're really good at this stuff, I am not. So this is gonna be a hardener. Rule of thumb is just to draw a line across. And then this stuff is only gonna take about 15 minutes or so to dry. So you're gonna wanna mix it up really good, pretty quick. Now what we're gonna do here is kinda fill in those gaps, those weld gaps. Uh, the better you are at welding, the less stuff right here that you'll have to use. And it's okay that the first, like, first pass doesn't look that great. Uh, because we will go back and sand it. You may need two. I'm pretty sure I had two passes on that of this stuff. Okay, so now that this stuff is dried, uh, I'm actually going to go over it with that same sander uh, pad. If you want to hand sand it, that's cool. It is pretty strong, so you know it may take you a while. Uh, this may be overkill, so definitely be careful. You're going to have to kind of go a little bit slower and stuff. Like, don't press on it at all. Uh, but an electric hand sander uh, would actually be more ideal. So, yeah, we're basically just going to smooth this out. Okay, so you can kind of see, like, this is our best part right here. It's already really smooth. I probably won't even go over that one again. Uh, and then the brown... Uh, which is going to be that filler stuff that's going to be the lower spots the white is just like the really white part uh, it's just where that uh, excess stuff got in there so you know that's pretty deep and then obviously you know you can tell the difference between the bare metal uh, part but yeah overall it looks pretty good this is done really well as well uh, kind of pokes out but I mean we did have a huge uh, dip right there and it's just I mean the outside of a 87 van so it's not even that big of a deal so I'll definitely go over these points again um, and then show you how to fill these bigger holes but yeah, so right here, need to smooth that out one more time. All right, so now we're gonna be working on those bigger holes. Um, it's gonna be pretty similar process. 
Gonna still need the cardboard. Um, and this same type of Bondo stuff, remember the one we used before was the jelly? This one is actually gonna be the glass, all right? And the difference between that is, oh, I thought I already had it open. So this one actually has really small uh, fiberglass strands in it. I don't know if you can see that. I'll try to zoom in. Having those strands is actually gonna kinda combine uh, like that to really give it something to hold on to. Uh, might have put a little bit too much hardener in this one so it's gonna dry a little bit quicker. Forgot my uh, ND filter so it's gonna be super bright. So the last thing I'm gonna do though is hit it with 180 grit. This is just a little foam block. Uh, one last time, and then I've also got some 320 right here. Overall, very happy with this, and I think that's gonna wrap up this episode, so I guess I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.